Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, your wicked chef. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're doing something with some nice little green bananas. Yeah, when you're shopping for these bad boys, you want to be asking for green fig or green cooking bananas. Don't get confused with the normal ones you buy as the fruit. And these are the other ingredients we'll be using. We've got some salt fish there, some cabbage. You know we have to have some scotch bonnet pepper. Caribbean sunshine people, if it's your first time watching me here on YouTube, below, I'm not sure where YouTube put it now, but click on that subscribe button. All the latest videos are going to be sent directly to you as soon as they go live. So here we go, we're cooking green bananas with cabbage and salt fish. You're going to love it, man. One of the first things we've got to do, and this is what the green cooking banana or green fig as it's sometimes called in the Caribbean looks like. It's totally different than the bananas you would find in the grocery store uh, which would be ripe and you would eat as a fruit. Is it a fruit? I don't know. But anyways what you would do is it would come on the stem and I've got two pounds of these here. All you would do is rip them and a trick here Wear gloves. If these were fresh off the banana tree, you would have to wear gloves or at least coat your hands with some vegetable oil because there's, so, there's usually a sap that comes out of it which can not only discolor your hands but cause it to go uh, irritated and, and be itchy. All we're going to do is trim off the top and the bottom. So there you go. Now Traditionally, this would be peeled and then boiled, but we're going to boil it with the skin. It's going to be a lot easier to peel after it's cooked. So again, all we're doing, the bottom and the top until you expose the flesh like that. Um, another thing you can do to make it easier to peel is, after you've trimmed off the top and bottom with a sharp paring knife, you want to go down the depth of the skin that you're seeing there. Is that green outer layer here? The depth of that, and just go all the way across straight across to the bottom show you that again so I'm using my finger here as a guide and all I'm doing I'm going like that we're gonna put these now in a pot to boil cover the water bring it up to a boil those green bananas have been placed in my pot here covered with water come up to a boil now so all we're gonna do is turn the heat down to like a medium low let it go on a rolling boil no need for the cover at this point let that go for about 25 minutes if you notice it's already starting to go discolored that is totally natural you will not see that lovely brilliant green we started off with so don't fret don't worry that is totally natural 25 minutes we're gonna drain it cool it and then move on after 25 minutes of boiling, I drained it. It's in the pot here now. I am al allowing it to cool so I'll be able better be able to handle it. The cut that we made has opened up now and this is why we made that cut. It'll make peeling the green banana here a lot easier to cook banana. Allow it to cool and then we will uh, peel it. I've got a deep saucepan here on a medium high heat. Um, it's getting warm now so I'm gonna start off and don't laugh at my little tea set kind of thing here. A couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. If you prefer to use olive oil, it would be an excellent alternative. And the very first thing we're going to do is to build that flavor base by using some shredded salted fish. And I have here about three quarter cups of um, salt fish. I'm just going to toss that in there. And the reason why we're doing this first is because I want this to crisp up and to really release that flavor. If you've never used salted fish before, this is salted cod. What you need to do is soak it overnight in, in cool water, drain that water, put it up, uh, put it in a pot with boiling water, let that boil for about for about half an hour. You would drain it, rinse it, and then you would shred it. And this is boned salt fish I'm using, so there are no bones in here. And I would recommend using the very same thing. In the description of the video, I will explain that again, how to go about removing most of the salt from the salt fish. And yes, you may be wondering, Chris, why are we using salt fish in this and having to boil it and prepare it and remove the salt and not just regular plain old fresh fish. The taste is totally different. 
The sawfish is crisping up nicely. It took about, and it will stick to the bottom of the pan. That's quite fine. Unless you're using a non-stick pan, well, that is also an option. We're going to go in now with two cloves of garlic that I minced up. Use the back of the spoon to get it all in there. And one medium onion that I chopped up, diced up. Give that a quick stir. I turn my heat down to low at this point because I want to sweat the onion and the garlic to really help build the flavor profile of this dish. Now, if you're a fan of salted fish, you can obviously use more. It's totally up to you. Three quarter cups of that shredded salt fish in here. Well, should, well, it's enough for my liking. A couple other things I'm gonna put in there: some fresh ground black pepper, maybe about a quarter teaspoon or so, as well as I've got some fresh thyme here. A couple sprigs of thyme. I'm just gonna break the leaves off and just allow it to release all those flavors. So you need about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Give that another quick stir because you really want that time to infuse with the oil, the garlic, the onion, the salted fish. Let that go for about three minutes. Next up, we're going to add, you know what, let's add that Caribbean sunshine. I've got here quarter, well, this is more like half of a scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up nicely. You guys can certainly tone it down if you want. I'm a big boy, I can handle my heat. So in goes that scotch bonnet pepper and I've got two cups of shredded cabbage going into the pot there. Give that a quick stir. And let that go now for about four or five minutes just to soften that, up that cabbage. While the cabbage cooks, let's take a look at how we're gonna remove. It's nice and cool now, we're gonna remove the skins off these green bananas. Remember that cut we did? So all you're gonna do is use your fingers and gently peel back and there you go. All that skin is gone now. I'm just gonna take off any little bits that's laying around. Final step, cut it on the angle about three quarter of an inch thick and set that aside to put into the pot. So again, all we're doing is pretty much using that cut that we made and pulling back on the skin. You would have noticed that I didn't use any salt in this dish and that's simply because even though I boiled and tried to get most of that salt out of the salt fish, there will still be remnants of that salt. Now what I would do here at this point is just add a little pinch of salt because I know by adding the chopped up green bananas now, we, remember we never cooked it with any salt, we're certainly going to need that salt in there now. My heat is still on low. Give that a quick toss and let that go on that low heat for about two minutes. One medium tomato chopped up. Just gonna toss that in there. And I've also got two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. These two ingredients are totally optional. Not so much about flavor but adding some more body and texture to the entire dish. I'm just going to go ahead and shake this up, stir it up, two minutes and that's it, you're done. I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to eating this. I am a country boy at heart, so this green banana with the salt fish and the cabbage, I am in absolute heaven here. The kitchen smelling nice, the food is going to go down sweet, I don't know that's already. All the ingredients I use is going to be down in the description below. Remember, I'm going to tell you guys how to prepare that salt fish. And remember, check out CaribbeanPod.com. That is where all the nice recipes are. Tell your friends, tell your neighbor, tell your papi, tell your mommy, tell auntie, tell everybody. CaribbeanPod.com. Chris here. Have a great day, guys.